Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally the things I'm a good friend, Bradley, and today... That's right. It's time for another Pipe Blend First Impressions video. And it feels like it's been a long time since we've done one of these. I guess I was so caught up in trying to replace my beloved Elizabethan. We did a whole series on that. But now we have a blend that has been requested many times. I finally got my hands on it, and I'm finally ready to give it a first try. And it is this... Mac Baron HH Mold Kentucky. Now, we've done several blends in the HH line for Mac Baron. I don't typically love Mac Baron blends, but the HH line is a little bit different. It's a little more premium, maybe, and it's supposed to be, I think they say, maybe they even say it on the back of the tin here, uh, yada yada, blah 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 blah, boo blah boo. Aha! The HH blends have only a absolute minimum of casing and no top flavors at all. So no flavors added whatsoever and just a little bit of casing. There's always some kind of casing, maybe a little bit of sweetener, maybe uh, humectants, things like that. So a pretty unadulterated, good old fashioned tobacco flavor. I've liked some of their other blends. It's time to try this one. It is a flake, um, or is it a flake? It's hot pressed. I think it's a flake. When I do a first impressions video, I go out of my way to not research. I do the research when I'm actually doing the review, but the first impressions I want to be as completely ugh, blind as could possibly be. We're, we crack this baby open. We have the nice premium foil inside. Let me open it up. I'm worried this is gonna be a little wet, but we'll see. Oh yeah, okay. So we have some nice, even regular flakes in here. Very nice presentation. You can see, oh baby, okay. Oh, very barbecue-y. It almost smells like I should be able to eat this. Like if I grab one of these flakes out, and I really love how these Mac Baron flakes are. They're very thinly cut, very regular, very even. It, almost, it smells like beef jerky a little bit and I, it, it makes me wanna just put this in my mouth and eat it. That's not a good idea. Don't do that if you have this blend. It doesn't feel super, super wet. I think we'll be okay if we rub this out, rub it out a little bit. I think we'll be fine. And I'm gonna do that now. And because of cam replacement and all that, I'm gonna do two flakes. Uh, you won't really be able to see this, but I start by taking it like this, I fold it, and then I just start rubbing on it. Rub it good, rub it real good. We'll be right back when I am done with that process. Another thing of note on the back of the tin they do claim that this is the strongest pipe tobacco among the blends in the Mac Baron range and is not recommended for inexperienced pipe smokers. So keep that in mind as well. We'll see. We'll see. Big claims here, but uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm loading in this rubbed out tobacco and we'll see how she smokes. It's a little moist, a little too moist. I should really be drying this for about 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, that all depends on ambient temperature, how wet and or dry it is, where you are, humidity and all that, but, you know, we're doing it. I like to crack the tin for the first time on these first impressions smokes, uh, but maybe I should, maybe I should pre-plan a little bit when I'm doing a flake. Anyway, we'll be right back when we're ready to light. All right, gang, ostensibly we're ready. There is a train rolling by. I don't think you can hear that. I think that's fine. So, before we do the initial light on this, what do I know about this blend? I know what they told me on the tin, that it's supposed to be among, or it's not among the strongest, it is the strongest, supposedly, in the Mac Baron line. Of course, that's subjective. I know it contains Dark Fire Kentucky from America and Africa, I think they said. So that's a burley, and just the preparation, it's a dark fired burley. And then a little bit of Virginia, like bright Virginias as well. All I can smell is the dark fire right now. It's a very heavy, smoky, spicy, um, kind of barbecue-y sort of aroma. And other dark fire blends that I've had, God, I had Orlick Dark and Strong. Is that what it was called? God, it's been so long now. Um, I swear, I've had several different dark fire blends that I've reviewed on the channel. And I'm not, I wouldn't say that I love that flavor profile that dark fire tobacco kind of brings to the table. But it's a nice, I guess, alternative to a lot of the Virginia heavy blends that I smoke. I do a lot of vapors, I do a lot of straight Virginias, and then usually I pepper in 
um, something that's like I've been doing Dun Dunhill Standard Mixture lately, kind of a mild, well not mild, but sort of mid-range Latakia blend. But I do like Burley on occasion. I really like Solani. Um, I really like the Peterson Irish Flake, which is another very burly base blend. So it's something that I enjoy on occasion. Let's see how this stacks up. Again, not a review, first impressions. I must look ridiculous when I'm trying to light a pipe. Sometimes that occurs to me. You can't be self-conscious. If I were the self-conscious type, I probably wouldn't have a YouTube channel, would I? So yes, this is a little damp. It's not taking the light very easily. Might take a little doing to get this going. Copious amounts of creamy white smoke. I think one more light and we'll get it. I'm tasting something. Oh my God, look at this. Fire alarm. Can you even see me? I'm looking in the viewfinder. I just see like my face floating in a haze right now. Um, that is copious smoke. But what does the smoke taste like? Um, it's kind of hot, kind of burny right now. Again, it was a little too wet for me to have lit. Getting a very meaty, well not meaty, a very barbecue-y sort of flavor right now. Smoky, a little spicy. I don't feel like I'm actually tasting it yet though. Give me a minute. Hmm. Okay. Um, I've only been puffing on this for a few minutes, just barely enough to get it lit and sort of under control. And already I can say bold. It's called Bold Kentucky. It's right there on the tin. And I don't think that is an understatement. I think this is a very bold blend. There's a lot of flavor going on here. And I'm already feeling a little bit of a kick. And that is quite unusual for me. I am someone who has a fairly high nicotine tolerance, I would say. Um, and it's already starting to feel like, yeah, like this could, this could put me down on my ass if I smoke this entire bowl. That's, that's unique. And it's not the morning um, I ate, mm, I don't know, four hours ago, which I guess isn't, you know, that recently, but typically the most effect I will get from nicotine is in the morning and it's evening before dinner and this this is definitely feeling like something it's very rich very earthy um i think i like it again i'm still not really getting my brain around the flavors that are going on here if I have to think about something that it reminds me of, maybe not necessarily even in flavor, but just the oomph to it, the kick that it may have, it's reminding me sort of a brown number four by Gawith, even though I don't think it's as strong as that. Um, and maybe not quite as, I don't want to say harsh because that sort of suggests that the smoke is abrasive um, when you're tasting it, but there was a sort of raggedness, rawness to the flavor of brown number four, and that has this has a little bit of that as well. My God, yeah, the smoke. I don't know what's going on with this. I do have slightly new lighting going on here, but this is copious, rich, billowing clouds of creamy white smoke. Um, and yes, the nicotine is definitely get, starting to get to me. This is all very subjective because depending on the time of day, what I've been eating, all those things can contribute to whether or not I'm going to feel this and maybe you won't react the same way, but this seems like the kind of blend that's going to put hair on your chest. So be careful if you're a female and you don't want hair on your chest, you might not want to smoke this.
Yowzas. Um, yeah, this is doing some stuff. Things are happening. Ah, I still can't tell if I like it or not. It's raw, it's rich, it's flavorful. I'm getting, you know, it's earthy, it's dark, it's smoky. It's weird. Dark fire is often described as sort of spicy, but in more of a, a Texas barbecue kind of spicy, not a oriental sort of... Uh, Not in an oriental sort of incense-like spice and not in a peppery periki sort of spice. It's in a barbecue-y sort of spice. Um, it's smoky. There's a little bit of a, and I know it's always weird when I describe something as smoky when it is literally smoke, but you know what I mean. If you've had dark fired, if you've had a lot of Kia blend as well, that's also has a smoky sort of flavor to it. Think about like liquid smoke. If you pour that on your meat when you grill it up, sort of like that. Um, and there's a lot of nicotine going on here. I'm getting that kind of tightness behind the eyes, getting a little bit in the throat. Not exactly pleasant right now because I wasn't expecting it. Um, and take all this with a grain of salt because like I said, I can smoke something like Elizabethan which has a pretty good kick to it and not really feel much of anything. And I know some of you out there can smoke it and just get knocked on your ass. So maybe you should tread carefully if you're going to try this. But I'm intrigued so far, I feel like I can't really, well, I'm not supposed to be giving you any verdict right now because this is a first impressions video, but it's hard for me to even really tell you what I'm tasting other than it tastes like Kentucky, it tastes like dark fired. Um, I'm very intrigued to try more. I feel like this might be a little too much for kind of an early morning coffee smoke, but we'll see. I'm gonna be trying it throughout a week a week's time. This video is posting on Wednesday. It is a Wednesday when you're watching this. The review will be the following Wednesday, so one week from today. And in that time, I'm going to be filling out my notes. I'm going to be trying it in the morning, trying it in the noon time, trying it in the evening, trying it after dinner, trying it on an empty stomach, maybe, if I'm feeling bold, as bold as this Kentucky. And I will have a final verdict for you in exactly one week's time. So far, I think I like it. So far, I'm intrigued but uh, wait for my final verdict next week. So until next time, until we meet again, thank you so much for watching this first impressions video of McBaron HH Bold Kentucky. I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later. Whoa.